and welcome back. Drinking, you smoking, you riding on me, slow motion. I feel like I'm dreaming. Let's smoke it away this weekend. I'm drinking, you smoking, you riding on me, slow motion. I feel like I'm dreaming. Let's smoke it away this weekend. Hello, hi everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you again. To my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. And if you are a new viewer, do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you would like to see more content from me and if you would like to receive notifications every single time I drop a video so today we're here to have a little bit of a discussion and the topic for today is whether or not manifesting a partner or actively seeking a partner works so I am against this case Toddy is very much for the fact that manifesting a partner works Am I fully ready to commit to that? Also, you have commitment issues. Def. I don't, hey? Really? I don't to the extent where it's like a problem. Like, I'm always ready to commit fully. Really? Yeah. I can... Think about the person that I like right now. Okay. How into them I am. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, you fall, what I've noticed is that you fall very easy. So, I was surprised Perfect. at your opinion yeah. that you, um, not, you don't believe in like manifesting a partner. That's surprising okay. to me. So the reason, let's actually just get into the video. So the reason I don't believe in manifesting a partner or actively seeking one or telling yourself I'm looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend, the reason I don't believe in that is, first of all, you're going to settle. Really? If you tell yourself that, okay, I am looking for someone now, anyone that comes across that manages to tick some of your boxes or a few of your boxes, you're going to leave the rest of them alone okay. and be like, okay, cool, well, this is what I'm getting, this is what the universe is giving me and I want to date. So you're going to date that person and end up settling for something that's, that when you could have gotten better had you met the person organically. What is manifestation? It's just putting things into the universe and it's also you putting in the work to get those things in the universe. Like past me would have settled for someone, like if they take three out of, out of the five things that I want in a guy, I'd be like, okay, and I'd settle for that. But now I've realized that I have the power to attract what I want, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. that I want, and I get it. That's the power of like, manifestation. Okay, but I feel like manifestation includes putting the work in to get what you want. Yeah. Right? Putting the work in is what I don't believe in. How do you put the work into love, man? You can work on yourself and like be aware of the fact that you are ready to have a partner. I'm not mm -hmm. against that. I am someone who right now is very aware that I'm ready to have a partner, mm -hmm. but I'm not actively working to find one. Like I fully believe in things happening organically. At their like, own time. Yeah, at their own time. So like now, nah, Actively seeking a partner, like going on Tinder, saying, Lelo, hook me up with someone, Toddy, oh yeah, your friend, like I'm, I'm not into that, you know what I'm saying? The organic can still come into the whole thing of manifest, manifesting a partner, my bad. You can go, okay, I don't do dating apps, like my dating app yeah, is I Twitter don't do dating or apps. Instagram. My dating app is Twitter. <laughs> or going out, going out is what I've realized, like yeah. to get to know new people. Ah, but also I don't want to meet my person in the club, ah, please. Ah. Um, you can like meet someone organically, like you weren't planning to go and meet this person, but you get to know them or speak to them that night or that second or whatever and you find out that they take some of the quality so what do you do you go and you give them a chance to like okay let me speak to them and open up and see if i'm ready to go out and do all these things and then he'll take if he does obviously he'll go through and he'll what if it's not parts. recording there's no way i just want a good person okay and other things but a good person, a good person, and slowly but surely, I'm <laughs> attracting my type, or I'm allowing my type into my space without but having how to settle. But how do you attract your type? Do you know the saying that like you have to like, or how some people start doing rich people sports to attract money into their life? Okay, what? It goes, it goes hand, and that's how manifestation works. Some people will start what? doing like rich people sports, like golf, tennis, or you so start I should, going out with I the I should elites. start going to saints. 
I should start going to oh my god yeah I'm or so dressing dead. or like carrying yourself in a way in a manner yeah that's in like, a manner that'll attract yeah your it's type. very very possible. this is crazy i've never heard of this in my life but it happens sometimes so you have bad. to do that because you can't tell me expect to find like the love of your life or the person who takes your box not in the club no really because most of them those people you go back to their house women to stay in a one he's in a bunk bed grown-ass man with no furniture and mid -rand. <laughs> What's your dream partner? What qualities? My dream partner? partner is the person I'm talking to. Please be specific. <laughs> Give us four points. Okay. Um, someone who listens very well. Okay. Someone who listens very well. I need someone who is light-hearted. I need someone who can joke around. Who doesn't take things too seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need someone who is caring. Okay. Uh, like who's very caring and like loving and a very warm person like someone that you want to be around someone who shows you that they care about you mm -hmm. someone who makes you feel important mm -hmm. someone who makes you feel important who makes you feel like a priority mm -hmm. um, so my last one is someone who communicates really well i need someone who can communicate well like words of affirmation um mean a lot to me and you can't affirm someone if you don't communicate with them well so that's something that's very important to me those are my four things yeah. and that's the partner that i am manifesting i'm working on myself so i can be a good enough person yeah. for the person that i want to be with you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and another reason i feel like manifesting or actively working for a partner or working towards finding a partner doesn't work is because um relationships that don't happen organically require more effort so if i go on a dating app and I want to partner and I swipe right on someone and they swipe right on me and whatever. You have to start talking. Yeah. And the fact that you have to start talking means the conversation has to flow because you want to partner, they want to partner. So they're going to speak in a way that they're going to sell themselves to you and mm -hmm. you're going to sell yourself to them. And that doesn't feel organic. Really but manifested. don't you think if you manifested this person, like speaking to them shouldn't be a chore? Because it comes naturally to you, like you have everything that I find interesting and I hope I have all the qualities or whatever traits etc that you want so it should make speaking to each other, it's like finding out yeah. speaking to someone, hence why I'd never go back to an ex or partner or ex partner or whatever because it's like I already know you and what you have, I want to feel that thing of like I'm nervous, I must think twice about what I'm going to say if we texting or call, I must think twice about just that nervousness like Ooh. But do you not feel like sometimes you will manifest something and something will come to you and you will think it's what you've manifested when it isn't. Mm, that has happened. That there's, Many a times. It's, it's trial and error though. People can tick three boxes and you think that they've ticked all five because you so desperately want to believe that this is the person that you've manifested. That was me in the past. But like, do you know? This it's, is it's why I'm like. It's a process like, of trial and error. Though. And that's why. That's but where I think both, comes in. both things are like process of trial and error. No, definitely dating is a process of trial and error. But that's where I said like settling comes in. Like, like if you're sure of yourself and you've given yourself time and then you manifest, you know what you want and you should be able, based on the past or just, you know, sense, mm, you should be able to know time. like this is not what I want. This is. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. And thank you for pulling through to my channel. You are Again. welcome anytime. We could do a story time, a tweet or drink, a truth or drink. Never have I let ever. Us, never have I ever. Let us know in the comments what you would like to see. Do hit the subscribe button if you have not yet. But if you have hit the subscribe button, thank you so much for pulling through to the Lelo Dinger fam family. It is so good to see you. This channel would not exist without any of you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Cheers. I'm drinking, you smoking, you crowding on me, slow motion. I feel like I'm dreaming, let's smoke it away this weekend. I'm drinking, you smoking.